a lot of people ended up without the work that they thought they were going to have or without the money that they thought they were going to have. The jobs market is still uncertain now, isn't it? That's why we're doing £10 million of jobs at the moment here on BBC Radio Nottingham. And many families found themselves turning to food banks, turning to a place perhaps they thought they never would. And there are plenty of food banks, actually, up and down Nottinghamshire now that can help out. But there's a very busy one in Stapleford. It's based at the church on Montrose Court. And Richard McRae is one of the organisers there. Hello, Richard. Morning. Yeah, I'm not one of the organisers at the church of Montrose Court. That, that's a bit of a separate thing. They, they actually run the food bank. I, I run Stapleford Community Group and we do the Stapleford Food Project, but we are actually working together and, and like using the back of the same building. I see. That's the whole. That's the whole thing about what's happening here, though, isn't it? So many different groups coming together and working together to help the area in in which they serve. So, how busy has has the whole thing been? Well, we, we've been like, Stapleford Community Group has been collecting and distributing food for uh, three years and two months now. So it's not something we've just started doing, but obviously with what's going off at the moment, it's, it's been really busy. We, we start between eight and half, eight in the morning, and the latest we've been finishing is nine o'clock in the evening. Um, and we're out every day, seven days a week. We haven't stopped. There's, there's a great big team of us, which is absolutely amazing. I'd love to name everybody, but then we'd end up running out of time. Um, so, you know, thank you to everyone that's helping and supporting us. Um, and like I say, we go to the supermarkets, we pick everything up, and then we sort it all out, and then we distribute it and get it out to everybody. So this food at the supermarkets, then, how, how is that? Is that given by customers, or is that given by the supermarkets themselves? It's given by the supermarkets. So it's all the surplus food. So it it could be the stuff that they, you know, they just didn't get rid of, or it's the stuff that it could have been damaged on the pallet. So we get a lot of cereal. There's nothing wrong with it. The boxes might be split. As simple as that, right? It's as simple as that. Uh, and you take all that then to the the project and and sort it all out. How, how do you decide who gets what? Well, a lot a lot of it is because people that actually use the food bank, we just give it the extra. That's where this is where the teamwork comes in. So people who are using the food bank already, or, or, or there's more people using it now because of what's going off. You know, we let them choose through it, or we take the stuff around to the houses and drop it off with them, and they can go through it and take what they want. Uh, but we've also been supporting other groups and organisations like homeless charities, shelters and that, and a lot of it's word of mouth. And how do you find the stories? I'm, I'm sure you must hear the stories of the people that you are helping ultimately. So how do you find those stories when you hear them? It, it, I mean, some of them, you know, there's, there's a lot of happy stories out there. There's a lot of sad stories out there. And, and the thing is that, that like a long time ago, people used to say, you know, why are you taking food to people? Why are you helping them? Why don't they sort themselves out? They don't need it. Now we've been taking food with people that, are, and I've said this, obviously I'm not going to say names because that doesn't matter, but we've took food to people that's got some of the best cars around but they can't afford to put petrol in them at the minute. So it's completely changed. And what's happened is the people that we've always been helping for a long time, they've even been helping us, you know, like with little donations towards petrol and stuff like that to keep us running. So, so the people, because they know what it's like to not have anything and they don't want other people like that. So, so it's, it's been a complete 360 flip around. And, you know, the, these people that have been helping for ages have, have carried on helping us now so we can help all the new people that's coming in. So Stapleford's got a brilliant community. It always has had. Yeah, and I think that that's evident, isn't it, in this project? You know, it, it just says how people do care about others around them. You might not have thought that yeah. they did before this pandemic, yeah. but, I mean, but they it, do. It's like, it's like today, we're up at the church at Montrose Court. We're, the church is closed. We use the back of it, so it's Montrose Court. We're there at 9 o'clock today. We've even got a school uniform we're giving out free. Which so is nice. Not, we, call, we call it the Stapleford Food Project, but it's, it's more than food. We work with shoe aid and we get footwear to people. You know, we've worked with other organisations. Like I say, we're up there this morning giving out school uniforms. So if anyone wants to come along, it's Montrose Court, which is off Melbourne Road in Stapleford. And we're there from 9 o'clock till 11. We've got school uniform. And then obviously we'll have food. And we're there every, every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, we're just working from people's gardens and houses at the minute. So well, it's seven days a week. A lot of these projects, they're based on referrals, aren't they? So, you know, um, organisations that, that perhaps access families who are struggling are able to refer them to food banks. But you don't need, like, vouchers or anything like that, do you, at yours? Why, no, why not? There's no vouchers at all, because, because this, this is why we're separate to the food bank, you see, because if you need the food bank, you have to have vouchers, and that, that's just how it works all over the place, and you get referred. A lot of the places that would give you vouchers to refer, you're actually closed at the minute. But we've, we've always said surplus food, it's completely separate to a food bank the reason we work with the church at montrose Court and emma and the team and everybody is because when 
you know, we, we didn't want people to have vouchers, but people who do go to the food bank and have got a voucher, we always say to them, take some extra stuff. So, you know, and, and we're not the only food bank. There's another one at the Haven. There's another one in Stapleford at Broxdale Youth Homelessness. They, they're opening up again soon. So we've got three food banks and they're all busy. And, and there's been a whole group of people doing stuff in Stapleford. You know, we, we, there's loads of us, whether it's councillors, local or residents, people have been working together, pulling together. I've always said that Stapleford has got the best community in the world. You know, we, I mean, we, we, we're the centre of, of Nottinghamshire, definitely. Um, and the community just always pulls together at times of need, and I've, and I've never seen it more so than it is at the moment. Good to talk to you, Richard. Richard McRae, who is from the Stapleford Food Project. And as you've been hearing, they're working in Stapleford at the minute, have been uh, for a number of years, actually, but it's really sort of come into its own in the last few months during the pandemic, helping people in Stapleford who are struggling with food at the minute and school uniform and it seems a number of other things as well. 24 minutes past six. Good morning. Andy at breakfast, playing your dodge.